Hi everyone, this is Zach. In this video lecture, I'll be giving you an introduction to linear regression. Linear regression is based on the assumption of a linear relationship between the explanatory variables and the response variable, which I'll explain what those are later. Linear regression is one of the most fundamental models in statistics or machine learning. And it was invented by this person called Sir Francis Galton in 1886. One of the most uh, the key applications of linear regression is to solve the prediction problem, which is the following. So let's say you have certain observed values of some explanatory variables, and you want to predict the value of an unobserved response variable. For example, you might want to predict a student's exam score given how many hours the student studied. Or you might want to predict the, the sales price of a house given the size of that house and its postal code. Uh, sometimes people use the alternative term terminology of independent and dependent variables instead of explanatory and response variables. And sometimes I switch it between the two so you need to be uh, remember which is which. Explanatory variables are the same as independent variables, and the response variable is the same as the dependent variable. So what's the difference between dependent versus independent variables? You can think of it as independent variables being things you can control, inputs that you control, whereas dependent variables are the outcome or the response that you get when you vary these inputs. So for example, if you change the number of hours of study, you expect the exam score to be changed as an effect from that. Or if you study, sorry, if you have, in, if you increase the size of the house or you change the postal code of where the house is located, you expect the sales price to also be affected. So we'll first be starting with simple linear regression which, where there's only a single explanatory variable and, uh, and later we'll talk a bit about multiple linear regression where there's more than one explanatory variable. Um, the reason why it's nice when you have a single explanatory variable is you can basically plot the y against the x and it's easier to visualize that way. So a simple linear regression model might be predicting the exam score given the number of hours of study, so one variable. The second example, where you predict the sales price of a house using the size and, and the postal code, those are two different independent variables. So this is co considered to be multiple linear regression. And I like to keep start with the simple linear regression because of the KISS principle, which says, keep it simple, you smarty pants. As I mentioned, linear regression depends on the assumption of linear relationships. And here is a simple equation of a line which ha where there's a linear relationship between x and y. Basically, if you increase x by one unit, you will also see a plus m increase in y. So that's what we mean by a linear relationship, mathematically. Uh, so just a brief refresher for some, for those of you who may not be, may not remember. Uh, so when in mathematics, when we say we plot y against x, what we mean is y is the wall, meaning this one, the vertical axis, and x is the ground, which means the horizontal axis. And we often will write the equation of the line as y equals mx plus c. Here the m is the slope or the gradient, and c is the so-called y-intercept, or just intercept. So for example, this line, y equals 2x plus 1, the blue line, if you set x to 0, then y is equal to 1, so that's the intercept. If you increase x by 1 unit, then you increase y by 2 units, so that's the slope. Also, I need to mention the Greek letters 
a beta and epsilon. This is pronounced beta and this is pronounced epsilon. By the way, this comes from uh, the Greek the English word alphabet actually comes from the Greek word alphabetos, which comes from the first two Greek letters, alpha and beta. You know, just an interesting aside. So here's some mathematical notation that we use for simple linear regression. Uh, so we have some observed values, x1, y1, x2, y2, up to xn, yn. So there's some data for which we know both x and y, but we might want to make predictions where we know x, but we don't know y. So uh, the value of y is equal to the intercept plus the coefficient times the x value plus some error or residual term because we might the line might not fit the data exactly. The basic idea of linear regression is to fit a line to the observed data points. So for example, let's say we have a very simple data set with three points, one, two, and three. And we want to predict the quiz score as a function of the number of hours of study. So in this case, we are very happy. It's very easy because there's a line that fits these three points exactly. And the equation of the line is score equals 5 plus 0 0.5 times study. If we want to make a prediction, let's say for a student who studied 6 hours, you can find that there's only one blue dot. Uh, along this line which with study equals to 6. So just plug it into the equation and you get this predicted score of 8. So of course all of this is very nice and easy because there's the, there is a very there's a perfect fit line and it's very obvious which is the line best line to fit to the data points. However, when the data is noisy or messy, you might not it might not be obvious where, which line is the best. So we kind of can eyeball that it's somewhere around here, but to know what is exactly the best line is not straightforward at all. So how are we going to figure this out? Well, this will explain how this works in the next video. So see you in the next video. Bye.